Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video we're going to be trying out another makeup product. Now this makeup product will get your eyes ready just like this. So let's get started. So here is that instant miracle eyeshadow product which is known as the True Color Eyeshadow Quad from Avon. This is the back of the packaging. As you can see the back of the packaging has the layout of the palette one two three four it has a guide on how to use the eyeshadows and where to place them on the eye the name of this quad palette from avon is rock fire rose these quads come in a classy black casing with avon inscribed into it the casing has a mirror inside it comes with a dual sided sponge tip applicator so on the palette you can see itself they have the numbers which is one two three Four. They have also provided an applicator with it, but the applicator is really, really bad. Look how it's disintegrating. These kind of applicators don't have a long life anyway, so no problem with that. Amazing mirror. Really happy with the mirror. This is so travel friendly. Love it. Let's get acquainted with the shades. Shade number one is a very pale whitish pink with a metallic sheen. It's the least pigmented shade in the palette. This is a highlighter. It's my most favorite shade. Shade number two is a warm mid-tone violet shade with slight violet frosting. Shade number three is a pinkish lavender shade with sprinkles of silver shimmer. Shade number four is a deep plum shade and it is the only matte eyeshadow in this palette. So let me swatch. As you can see the payoff is just very sheer in light but it is super buildable. I love it. I am not into super pigmented eyeshadows. And this palette is perfect for any person who just wants to have a tinge of colors to enliven their eyes and for those who have no patience dealing with ultra pigmented eyeshadows. Now the only cons that I found about this palette is only two. Well, one, considering that this is not long life anyway, but a nicer kind of brush would be much appreciated. And second, complaint is that the eyeshadows have the numbers pressed on them it would have been better if the numbers were somewhere in the packaging itself so even though we use these we can still have the numbers okay so let's put this to the test follow me apply an eyeshadow primer each number tells you where to exactly apply what color to which part of the eye areas and for today's video I will follow exactly the instruction on the back of the packaging. You will use the light colors to highlight. The areas where you apply these colors will be brought forward. Usually this includes areas like the inner corner of the eye and the brow bone. To start, just shade one all over the lid and up to the brow bone. Your medium colors accent shades will be used to define the basic shape of the eye and for blending from the lightest areas into the darkest areas. Usually these are applied to the main portion of the eyelid and at times the crease. Sweep shade 2 on the lid followed by shade 3 on the crease. At this point the eye makeup looks like a paint by numbers work in progress. But don't worry, a few strokes of the applicator just to blend in the shade 2 and 3 together will up the look instantly. The dark colors you will use for contouring and for creating depth to your eyes. The areas where you apply the darker colors will recede. Darker colors are also used for adding more intensity and drama to your look. For this look, this area will include the outer portion of the eyelid, the outer V, and the lower lash line. Apply shade 4 to these two areas. Let me change my hijab to match the eyeshadows, and it's done. I forgot to put shade number 4 on the lower lashes. I'm doing that. On the lips, I'm using shade number 3. Final thoughts on this? It's really amazing. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, you know what to do. In case you don't know what to do, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post. Leave a constructive comment and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do, but I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye. Jazakallah khair, thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here.